Good to have you with us here on CTV News Channel. I'm Todd Vander Hayden. We've been talking a lot about Western alienation in the past two and a half weeks in the aftermath of the federal election. A county in Alberta is calling for Ottawa to make drastic changes to the way Confederation works. And if those measures are not met, one local council says there will be even more drastic course of action to come. Wheatland County unanimously passed a resolution with a number of demands. It includes Alberta's withdrawal from the Canadian Pension Plan, a reform of the Senate, and more control over immigration in the province. Should those changes be rejected, the county will look toward a referendum on Alberta's independence. For more, we've got Jason Wilson standing by. He's a councillor in the county. He put the resolution forward. He's joining us tonight from Calgary. Jason, great to have you on CTV News today. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Doug. What's at stake here for your county? It's not so much at what's at stake for the county, but, but the people itself. I mean, right now, we've got a federal government that is attacking our people, our residents, and our cultures, and the industry, industries that have fed the country for years and years. And... We're, we're fed up with it, Todd. Let me ask you about some of the details here. Withdrawing from the Canada Pension Plan, uh, why, why do you want that? Well, like many things within Confederation, Alberta, Alberta is getting a raw deal um, with the CPP. Right now, we, if we were to pull out, we could lower, for the same service, we could lower our payroll contribution to, from 9.9% to just under 6%. And that's, for Alberta, with such a young population, that's a big, big savings for us young people. Uh, what about collecting your own income tax as well? well? What's at stake there? What's at stake there is, that has a big thing, that has a big issue with the equalization payments. If we are able to collect our own taxes, we control our revenue, just as we do with corporate in income tax. We can write the check for the federal government. And rather than the federal government taking marginal amounts from each one of our great payers and citizens. Uh, let me ask you as well about equalization payments, which as you know, is sort of the way Confederation is set up where uh, money goes from provinces like Alberta to other provinces such as Quebec. By ending that, uh, what would your message be? My message would be to develop your own resources. I mean, when you have a premier in New Brunswick, asking for it to be reformed or even abolished for that reason in order to incentivize provinces across the country to develop its own resources so then it's equal and fair for all provinces those successful ones will be reimbursed and it'll incentivize the we know yeah incentivize the poorer provinces to uh to as you're saying diversify I also want to ask you about the provincial police force. So Ontario has its own, as you know, the Ontario Provincial Police Force. Quebec has its own, the Surete de Quebec. Uh, what about an Alberta police force? That's one of the things as well you'd like to see. Yeah, and, and I mean, that's we're a little more familiar with that. I, I am being an elected official. We deal with the RCMP regularly. And rural crime is a big issue right now in small town Alberta. And uh, right now, we're having issues with the... Uh, officers per capita and the service that they're providing, they seem to be too dedicated to the populate, populated areas and where the crime's happening, they're not showing up. They're, they're not meeting the local needs of municipalities across the provinces. So we look at a provincial police force owned, operated and governed by the people that they serve. What reaction do you think uh, will come from Ottawa to what uh, you guys are doing? I mean, no matter what, government doesn't like to change, it seems. And a government that seems to be sticking its toes in and knows in where it doesn't belong. We have to realize and ask ourselves where we want the federal government. What limitations do they need to have? Canada is a very broad country. There's many different regional needs. And I think it's important to depict those through giving the provinces and even the municipalities, more power. So I, I don't think they're going to enjoy being told that, but in order to save Confederation, I think that is what needs to happen. Jason Wilson joining us uh, from Strathmore in Alberta. Thank you so much for taking some time uh, and get the message out here on CTV. We appreciate it. Thank you, Todd.